and welcome back to another video of spark plugs in this video today i'm going to show you how to make the 3d of this isometric view in fusion 360 so this video will again focus on developing your business skill in fusion 360 so let's get started so let's start with the studying of the drawing so as you can see this whole setup has been put on this rectangular base whose dimension is 175 by 50 mm and it says a uh, uh, 9 mm thick so what we have to do is we have to start by making the rectangular row and, and of course the hole and then we are going to make this uh, uh, circular profile so for that just click on create a sketch and select the base uh, plane again press L switch on that construction line and make two construction line one is horizontal and another one vertical now press R for rectangle draw a rectangle switch off the construction mode and draw a rectangle now make the rectangle symmetric to both vertical and horizontal construction line for that click on symmetry select this line this line and make it symmetrical to this point select this line this line and make it symmetrical to this point so the dimension is going to be 75 by 50 mm so press D for dimension make it 175 zoom out and make it 50 yeah 50 by 175 now we have to make these holes so that we can have an extruded we don't have to make a separate holes so for that the dimension of the hole is diameter is 12 mm and it's 25 from the side and 16 mm from the bottom so for that just click on C and as you can case clear C C it is actually in the middle of the bar so you don't have to care about the 25 just make it in middle of the bar and just we give it dimension from the bottom as 16 so press C for circle and draw a circle of radius 12 mm press enter select D for dimension and give it dimension of 16 mm and just mirror the circle with the central construction line like this and just finish the sketch now extrude it up to a distance of 9 mm just extrude it to 9 and press ok now what we have to do is we have to make this profile this profile consists of a semi uh, circular extrusion and on top of that there is also another extrusion so what we have to do is we are going to make this one and then we are going to mirror it so that we don't have to make the another one so we will start with making the uh, inner one with the 9 mm thickness so for that what we have to do is uh, first of all just look at the the dia of the inner circle is 25 and the outer circles is 50 and from the bottom face it's actually the dimension is given here 28 mm the center of the circle from the top of this face and then this whole profile lies in the center of this rectangle so for that just click on this plane draw press L and draw L draw again draw a construction line in the center just like that if you don't know the center you can just make it symmetrical to this point this point and like this so again draw press c for circle switch off the construction mode draw two circle one is for outer and press d for dimension give and give it a dimension now the inner circles die is 25 and outer circle is 20 50 so make the outer one as 50 diameter and the inner one would be 25 and the distance from this point to this point is given 28 as you can as can see it's given 28 so the next step is as it is to make two tangent line to this surface you know, it is going to be at some angle to this surface which is going to be normal to the bigger circle so the distance from the outer profile is given 32 so what we have to do is click a line and just draw any random line like this you don't have to give it any dimension so let's 
start by making it coincidence with this line and this is going to be we having the tangent relation with this circle now that point the distance of this point to the outer one is given 32 press D for again press D for dimension click on this and this line and give it dimension of 32 now again go to mirror mirror this across the construction line and press ok now you can just trim the uh, unnecessary parts or you can just click on finish sketch and select whichever profile you want to be extruded the profile we are going to extrude is this one just leave the hole in the bottom and the thickness is going to be 9 mm so the thickness is going to be 9 mm so here minus 9 is ok once done what we have to do is we have to make another extrude uh, which is going to be say this is the thickness is 12 and this thickness is 9 to 12 minus 9 is equal to 3 so what we have to do is click on this face click on this circle press C it will automatically get the circle and just draw a circle it, it, it will automatically snap or you can just uh, from the profile you guys can see that it's 50 mm in diameter and just finish the sketch and make it extrude of 3 mm and press ok now as you guys can see it's complete now what we have to do is we have to mirror this profile so for mirror as we have uh, made everything in reference with the uh, default plane so what we have to do is just go to create and go to mirror it will ask you about the object from the timeline select the extrude this and this extrude and the mirror plane is going to be our this plane and just press ok now something went wrong again click on mirror select this object and this object select mirror plane as this and press ok no i think some something is going wrong so let's start with the uh, easy step i'll only select this one the first extrude and press ok no it's not working i don't know why it's not working so what we have to do is the other option is bring back the sketch that you have drawn for that profile click on extrude select you can just select this profile and this profile the yeah so the start point will be uh, from object select this face and the distance is going to be again 9 and press ok now again just do the same for this point the start will be from object from this and the dimension would be minus 3 and press ok just switch off the sketches and the planes now the drawing is complete the only thing left is to provide a radius of 9 mm on these edges the r9 radius so what we have to do is go to modify go to appellate or just press f for fillet it will ask you about the edges select this one this one this and this and the radius actually select this one also okay, it's not selecting I don't know why yeah select this one not this one this one and this one and the radius would be 9 and the center so this is how the 3d of this 2d will look like hope you guys will enjoy the video please comment any queries and suggestions for my upcoming videos and don't forget to share and subscribe my channel